Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We are going to get our asses yeah, handed to us well, by the Bellower. I mean, hopefully not. Well, the Bellower's not in this one yet. Uh, this is the one with uh, Avon. Oh, this is just like... He has a ranged attack, right? He has a magic attack. This is... We've talked about this a little bit in the past. Yeah. Um, but so it's Arc weird. Lightning is... Strikes target for two strength, continues to diagonal units, doing plus one strength damage each time. So it sounds like it makes sense, right? Yeah. Like, it travels down a diagonal path. Sure, but, like, you've got to set up that diagonal path ahead of time. That, and it always feels just chaotic enough to where it, it doesn't, it doesn't the other seem one to is work the way you want it to. It restores an ally's armor up till something. I don't know. I'm, it, I'm, it only, it heals, like, I think one or two at a time. Yeah, well, half of his willpower, like, half of his remaining willpower. So if he's got eight, then it'll heal four. Oh, that's yeah. right. Um, this guy can't actually reach me where I'm at. So... I think they have set it up to where using his arc lightning is very effective right now. Is it? I think so. You might want to move forward. Well, actually, that might I be okay. Here. So I'm just going to go Let's, ahead and do one, right? Yeah, I think they no, set it up... No, because there's no one near him right now. It's well, just going to hit him for two strength It's, it's going to hit those guys in the diagonal, I think. No, I no, think because they have, they have to be directly adjacent. Don't I, they? Don't, I don't think so. Give right, it, let's let's, let's give out. it a try. Let's we don't out. have to pump a lot of willpower into it. Let's just do one. I like how he's like pulling the lightning out of the ground. Okay, no, they do have right. to be adjacent. What does the stone singer do that is so bad? He summons like big guys, right? Yes. I don't remember a whole it's lot of this a, fight. It's, it's be been honest. a while. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and shatter eight armor off this guy. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> it it gives me joy when it shouldn't to see that number. It's well, that's like one of the most satisfying things about the combat system mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. game. Is just utterly breaking a man. Absolutely, I think that's one reason why min maxing is probably the best way to go, just yeah. because it's it feels good. It bothers me that a lot of these abilities have to be used on adjacent enemies or allies, because like. Oftentimes, there's no reason to be adjacent to people. That is to battlefields be... are huge. Wait, does that forge ahead have to be adjacent? Yeah, it does. What? It's not as good as I hoped. I mean, you used it once before to great effect. Yeah, sure, but like that was when Krumer wasn't very good, and now that he is, there's almost no reason to use his ability. Yeah, I, I actually I did, agree. I did kind of talk up his ability earlier in the series, and now I feel bad. I feel kind of bad, like, bad-mouthing it. But the truth of it is that as soon as he's a useful character on his own, you don't need the ability anymore. I mean, it kind of goes back to our conversation about how power in this game changes everything. <laughs> it really does. And, like, the moment you have a character that has power, why would you waste any of your time using their abilities mm -hmm. unless there are very, very specific yeah. situations sure. set up? Um, and generally, if you're playing it based on just dealing damage, those situations are not really going to come up. You no. might hurt Ivor. If you do that, Let's hope not. If it targets friendlies, I'm not going to use Avon ever again because he's not very it, good. It does. It it will hit friendlies. Uh, what? Did you see what I mean? How? how? How does that make sense? What happened? What did I do differently? I don't know. That's exactly <laughs> my point. That hit everyone for armor damage. What? I don't get it, man. I don't know like, what's going maybe on. Maybe that's the point, but like. How can you tactically set up anything for that? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm going to use the ability again now. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just like, I don't... Oh, yeah. Fucking 14. Oh, my He's God. only got five health. That seems really <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so satisfying. Okay, so these guys are just going to come here, and they're, they're like, oh, what's this? This guy has, like, mystical significance. Yeah, let's flail him. <laughs> let's just swing an axe at him until he dies. Oh, man. I will say I really, really like the art for the mending abilities. Mm -hmm. I think it's 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 weird. It's so simple. It's, it's so it's, simple. Yeah, it's, it's so simple, but it like it feels like it, it breaks reality of the the reality of the game, right? It doesn't yeah. look like it, it should exist, no. but yet it does. And that's kind of the way mending is treated. Exactly. Right? It's, <laughs> I, I think it fits that, that concept really, really well in, in just the art style alone. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just going to break this guy. Do eight damage to him. You won't be harming anyone. Oh, this is where we start seeing bigger slingers, too. This is where the mending is going to come in handy. Because these guys, there's no way I don't hit all of them. Okay, I'm going to arc I lightning right there. Think at and least. I'm just going to go ahead and boost it all the way. All see right. what happens. It's going to suck if you hit one of your guys. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hit anyone. You see? You see? You see? What is the logic with this ability? 
Okay, so that's that's the question, right? What could they do to tell us, like... To make this, like, a little bit more clear. Yeah. Because I understand, like, oh, magic is mysterious. Like, I get that. But at the same time, I need to know how my abilities... And Ooh. Irish down. Yeah, it's fine. That's no big deal. <clears throat> this guy is about to bite it. <laughs> big time. Yeah, I think, at the very least, what they could have done was at least show us Mother who of God, that's so much damage. That's a beautiful attack. Oh, my God. Why would you ever have anybody else go when you could do that? Exactly. Yeah, Forge Ahead. That's that, what I'm that, talking about. That, I think, justifies your argument about Forge Ahead. Yep. Like, that alone. Right there. I just dealt 14 damage to a guy. Who else could do that? Ivor? He's Four, dead. 14 damage to a guy and damage to all the other surrounding enemies yes. because he's a Varl. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and bloody flail this guy again. Um... Hit him for three and one this time. The last time, oh, he heals everyone, oh. which is why I should have taken him down earlier. Oh, wait, do you think that that's what happened when you did Arc Lightning? Is that you just dealt the damage to the one guy again, and then that guy just immediately went afterward and, and then just looked healed like? everyone? I think that's what might have happened. Uh, okay. So cause... it wasn't it wasn't as amazing as we thought it no. was. It actually kind of sucked. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. Glad we got that figured out. Yeah. So what happens if I just, like, straight up attack this guy? That's what I want to know. He does more damage than I thought he would. Just hit him with your <laughs> stick. Whack him with his hockey stick. Oh, and okay. Yep. All right. Well, you gotta go. <laughs> or, 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 Ooh. or I just straight up kill the stone yes. seer because that guy is crazy dangerous. Yeah, that is definitely the guy that takes priority on the battlefield. Because I don't think he's actually healing them. I think he's just like adding damage. I think he's buffing them. I, I think he's, he's giving them more strength and... Oh no, he is giving them more strength. I am just going to go straight up kill this guy. I mean, he's definitely healing their armor, but yeah, maybe they're just I saw dealing health. more... I saw, like, there was one guy who was like this size that had 14, and there's no reason for that. Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. Beyond, like, you know, fuckery. So it's not, yeah, maybe you're right, does. it's not healing them, it's just, just buffing them. It's technically giving them, like, temp hit points. It's kind of, it, but in this game, that also functions as temp strength. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that went pretty well, I would say. Yeah, I got despite... a kill off on the one guy who needed one. We still got some renown. The stone singer went down. Ivor went down, but he didn't die. And who? Oh, uh, Hogan? Or... Hogan? I think he lost one other guy. But I yeah, did, yeah. All yeah. things considered, that was actually a pretty good fight. Well. The stone singer wasn't as big of a threat as I'd thought, and the mender wasn't nearly as useful as the game makes him out to be. Oh, this is the f right. Mm hmm. Ah. Gotta love these one on one scenes. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Fucking ready. <laughs> okay, so Bellower can move. This That's far. What was I thinking? So I'm going to move Ivor back so I can get the first attack off. There you go. Yeah. Uh, this is what I did the last time, and it didn't work, so it's not going to work this time. No, Jesus. but I mean, I you love know. the I love like the way that they portray Bellower's like instability, like the way that he walks and the way that he like howls, and it's like it's weird. It's it's upsetting almost because it's it's like he that seems broken a little bit. Yeah, like metal screeching against metal kind yeah. of sound. Like there's like a flaw in his design that makes him this way. Oh shit, he used a willpower. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> and just like that, I think I'm dead. Still, fuck you, Boom. Bellower. Eat it. And I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We'll just we'll put it back on. We'll put it back on. I think that's probably a good place to end this one. Uh, Fuck you, Bellower. Bam, and I'm dead. We still have a minute, so okay, let's, right. well, let's let's do let's, a little bit yeah, more we'll, at least. We'll press on. Okay, so Ivor rides in agony. His <laughs> arm torn clean off by Bellower's onslaught. The Sunder raises his weapon, and Avon steps in. Great, the useless mender. This won't go any worse than the last one did. <laughs> what are you going to do? Heal oh, his armor? Cut scenes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, just in case you forgot. So this is the part of the game where things kind of take a turn because it becomes clear for the first time that this like primal force or whatever isn't working with the dredge and it isn't responsible for ah, the dredge. Yeah. It is driving the dredge <laughs> away. So it's a third party in this. And that that is a really important moment too because it, Prior to this, like, we still don't really know anything about the Dredge. So far as we know, they're just, like, an unthinking hive mind. That's exactly what they seem like, and it's not until, like, we talk to Ivor after... Well, I mean, obviously, Ivor lived through that fight, so I'm not spoiling anything. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Okay, so he mends him <laughs> with magic. 
couple days ago. <laughs> right. I'm okay. I just need to sit. Thunk. And he's out. <laughs> chapter five. Weary the weight uh, of the sun. Is this the final chapter? This is the final chapter. Oh, yes. Oh, this is where stuff gets I, real I'm deep. wondering if that's actually... All right. Uh, so if, if for those of you who are, uh, are commenting in, in the comment section about... Uh, our Icelandic pronunciations. Maybe you can tell me if the worm is speaking Icelandic or not. Ooh, that would be really cool. I don't actually know. Are they? Oh, damn. Yeah, I feel like that's that would be a level of polish that wouldn't really be necessary, but would be really awesome. This is the first time that it switches into the second person. Your last certainty was that you died some time ago and that it is about to happen again. Oh. And then she does that. What, are you sure that's the first time it's gone into second person? There's never a, a time when it's yours. There's not even, one time Not even when with Rook? Rook does the first person. Rook does a let grips my hand. I do this. So are we her? I mean, here's the thing. She is probably the, the character that makes all of the games connected. I'm, I'm going to vote. I'm going to put that out there right now. Like, she's... This interaction right here is is the so moment think, that leads into the next game. So I think. So do you think th this is the, the this is then like the tying moment? This that this like is yeah this is two games? this is where we see what's really starting like there that we see that there's something much deeper so going on. So then the first game was all about like the the on like the human level like surviving the dredge onslaught. Is the it's, second game about like the mysticism that's behind all of it? I think so. I think so. I think the first mm, game is about setting the world in, and showing like where everyone yeah. in the world is and very much the human side sure. and then this is a taste of of, I, I of the overarching story because when this game when this okay we're, we're really close to the end here the game is almost over and when when we were getting like down to the end when i was just playing it through by myself for the first time i was like oh my god this game just opened up like there's like you think the game is about like this thing and it's like it seems a little lord of the ringsy mm -hmm. like you're getting forced back into this mountain stronghold and there's like an army of like dudes who wear black attacking you <laughs> yeah. who don't speak your language and might not be people and then this happens and it's like all of a sudden the door is just open for anything anything could happen and then the game ends <sighs> okay well let's let's go through this in the next episode. We'll go through this I don't, I don't want to skip over this too much because this is a big moment. Yes, exactly. And we can we can tell that her name is Juno. So we'll pick back up with Juno next time. See you guys there. Uh, question, of the day. question of the day. I want to ask about um, I want to ask about the, the arc lightning ability that the Mender has. Mm. Um, do you know how it works? <laughs> First of all, do you know how it works? <laughs> if you do, tell us how to use it because well, well se second of all, what do you think they could be doing in the interface to tell us? Yes. Like, how the hell we should be using this? Because obviously, like, we are of, of the belief that there's not enough information no. given. No. And, and as For a player, a lot of yeah, as, as a player, I feel like I don't want to use it because I could damage my own units. Yes. And or on top of that, not only that, but you could use something that's just, like, strictly less useful than walking up and just cracking them with your stick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, as, as a designer, what would you do to give this information to the player? Because obviously it's a little late for a tutorial at this point, but, like, there's, there's obviously something a little bit more intuitive we, they could be doing. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Yeah. So uh, let us know down in the comments. Like and subscribe. It really helps. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.